What's up guys, my name is Carson Berta. Thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. Today what I have for you guys is a DIY. And I'm doing a DIY with my old clothes. So this is basically bringing back to life old articles of clothing that you do not like to wear. This is a great way to experiment. This is a great way to enhance your aesthetic and style. And it's just really fun to just play with clothes. And today I picked three pieces of clothing that I really don't wear and just been sitting there in my closet taking up space. So I decided let's put some life into it and why not explain to you guys how I did that. It's very simple, very quick. You don't really need to make drastic changes to make something look new and refresh again. So I decided why not show you guys how I did it. Let's go ahead and begin this DIY right now. So today's essentials are gonna be these three items which is a shirt, a t-shirt, and a pair of jeans. So the first thing is that white basic t-shirt. What you're gonna need for this is some scissors and some pens. Actually, you don't need pens. So what we're gonna do with this t-shirt is give it a little bit more grungy effect and we're gonna give it a scoop neck. So we're gonna be cutting around the neckline. Then we're gonna start about a half an inch into the neckline and we're just gonna cut down following the original seam. Depending on how deep you want the scoop, you're going to want to make sure that the scoop in the front, you're going to go lower than the back, and the back you're going to stay as high as possible so it won't fall off your shoulders. And now you roll the sleeves and you have a nice new modern looking t-shirt like Kanye West. So next up is this shirt, and we're going to remove the collar and make it a band collar shirt. And this process is very simple. You're just going to want to make sure that you stay above the band that's underneath the collar because there's a seam there and you're just going to want to cut above it. Now, as you can see, the seam is still shut. You don't have any raveling and it's officially a band collar. This is the collar and it's supposed to look like this, so don't worry about it, you could toss that. And now this is your finished product, a band collar shirt. Now last but not least is this pair of jeans. If you're not gonna measure it, at least fold it like I did and I know where I want the height to be around my ankle and that's basically the only measurement I have. And you're just gonna fold it and cut across. Now you cut across confidently and you repeat on the other side and you should be done. Now we're gonna do a little bit of distressing. You're gonna make sure you have the you're gonna make sure you put a cardboard underneath the denim so that it won't go through and you should start ripping apart with the scissors. Now you should have a distressed look and ready to rock the grungy look and ta-da, boom, done. And now you have your three looks completed, a grungy urban style appearance. And now this is exactly how it's supposed to look. way to distort your jeans to make your basic t-shirt a little more edgier and to just make a nice mandarin collar shirt i like wearing my t-shirts with a very deep scoop especially when i'm wearing blazer i don't want to wear a traditional shirt uh with my blazer i like to wear my t-shirt with a deep scoop neck and it gives me that little edge yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed this diy if you guys want me to do some more or maybe i could think of distressing a jacket or something i don't know let me know down below thank you guys so much for time on my youtube channel this week i hope you guys enjoyed it Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That would be amazing. It means so much to me. So if you guys could do that one thing for me, I'll be grateful forever. So thank you guys so much for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. Don't forget to push down everything. And I'll see you guys next week. Better soon.